With the recent update to our Ready Player Me Unity SDK, you can now create and customize your Ready Player Me avatars at runtime without the need to open an external web browser. I'll show you how to set this up in Unity and build it for iOS. With the project open, we want to import the Ready Player Me Unity SDK. To do that, navigate to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, and then select the Ready Player Me SDK. Once the plugin is finished importing, we want to navigate to Plugins, Wolf 3D Ready Player Me SDK, Examples, Web View, and then open the Web View Test scene. In this scene, you will find a Web View object with the component on it called Web View Test. Here in the start method, we create an instance of the Web View. Next, we assign an on avatar created callback, which allows us to retrieve the URL to the avatar's GLB file. Then we set the Web View browser window's padding. By default here, it's set to zero, which means that the Web View window will display as full screen. Finally, we call the create Web View function, passing this object as the parameter. Once the avatar creation process is finished, it will automatically close the Web View and run the on avatar created callback function. In the callback method, we create an avatar loader instance so that we can run the avatar loader function and pass the avatar URL. We can also pass a callback function that will run once the avatar model has loaded into the scene. Now you have some idea of how it works, we can look at building the scene for iOS. Before we build anything, let's take a look at our build settings. To edit the build settings, go to File, Build Settings, and if you haven't already, Click Add Open Scenes to add the Web View Test Scene. Also, make sure you've set the platform to iOS. Next, go to the Player Settings. Make sure you're on the Player tab. Enter in your team signing ID for your Apple developer account. Without this, the project will fail to build. Next is the Camera Usage Description. This field is required for camera access when capturing photos. Just put some text in here, ideally something descriptive. And lastly, the microphone description. This is from microphone access, which we use in the example voice handler script to control facial animations. Now that's all done. Close out of the player settings and it's time to build. Once the build's finished, navigate to the builds folder and look for the .xcode project file. Click that and open it. Inside Xcode, click on Unity iPhone and navigate to signing and capabilities and make sure you've selected your team and provisioning profile. Make sure that your iOS device is connected and click play. When the application starts, you'll see an empty scene. Now click the display web view button. This will open the web view browser. From here, select the avatar type, body type, and take a photo. When the camera screen loads, you'll be asked for camera and file permissions to provide an image and create your avatar. Once you are happy with the photo, click accept. Once your avatar has finished loading, you can customize and then click next. After the avatar creation process is finished, the web view will close and your avatar model will be loaded into the scene. I hope you find this video helpful. You can read more about our Ready Player Me SDK at docs.readyplayer.me.